out on hand here. This is the fifth event on the 2010-2011 Grand Prix Series. And the field coming out onto the deck now for the men's 50-meter freestyle final, featuring Cesar Cielo, the reigning Olympic champion, world champion, and world record holder. There he is from Brazil, and certainly made a lot of history. The first swimmer from Brazil ever to win a gold medal in swimming. Jason Lezak will be to his left in lane six, the four-time Olympic gold medalist. Hoping to get to London, already competed in three Olympic games, very memorably in Beijing. Going back to Cielo for a second, Paul, remember he's got four of the five fastest times in history. One of only two swimmers ever to break 21 seconds. In the 50, Freddy Bousquet from France, the other swimmer. Cielo, a world record time of 20 and 91. Cullen Jones holds the American record, 21.40. There is Cullen Jones, qualified in 22.86. The American record holder, as I just mentioned, a gold medalist in Beijing in the 400 meter freestyle relay. There's Andre Siri in lane three. Bruno Frautis of Brazil in lane four, the fastest qualifier. Finished fourth at the Pan Packs last summer. And Cesar Cielo. I think he got a little bit of a welcome home back to Brazil. Jason Lezak was uh, visiting with Jason down in the media room and seemed very relaxed and very ready for this evening's event. Nicolas Santos also from Brazil, the 31-year-old, made it to the semifinals in the 50-meter in this event in Beijing, and Simon Burnett out of Great Britain will be at the top of the pool in lane eight. Well, well don't discount, Jason. There's Colin Jones. You see, he's got to fight for his life. He's got a swim-off next month against Josh Schneider to see who makes the world championship team. You see Lee Zach right there to the left. Now he's won the last two Grand Prix. He's swimming. He's won the gold both in Indy and Austin. Cesar Cielo, although he had a bit of an off summer last summer, did not swim especially well. You see him slapping his chest. He's still the fastest swimmer in the world. I mean, there's no question about it. Fifty meters, one length of the pool. Cielo in lane five, the world record holder, reigning Olympic champion out quickly. Lezak above him in lane six. Bruno Frontis in lane four. And in lane five, Cesar Cielo with a big lead. That is an easy win in a 50 meter freestyle race. <laughs> this guy's pretty good. <laughs> that was almost half a body length in a 50 meter race. Oh my goodness. And, and almost a half a second in a 50 freestyle. That is unbelievable. I mean, his teammate was 22 5, almost a half a second behind him. These are some of the best sprinters in the world. I mean, that's a, that's a great swim for right now. He was, that's still only the fourth fastest time in the world this year, but that, that is one incredible swim. You see by Cesar Cielo, he just, so good. He sees to the right. Lezak actually got off to a really good start and got up swimming right away, but you have to use the speed of the blocks to go fast. Meaning what I'm saying there is, there's no way you're gonna go faster than when you push off, when you go off the blocks. And I think Jason came up and started swimming a little too soon but it just didn't really matter. You see another look off the blocks. He leads with that top of that head. I'm talking about Cielo. Does such a good job of just really maintaining the focus and the pressure on the water. The last 15 meters right there toward the middle of your screen. Great lunge into the wall. It's so easy to spin your wheels the last 15 meters and he just looks so solid all the way through. He's the guy to beat in London. So Cesar Cielo once again dominated the 50 meter freestyle and he's now down, down on the deck. Cesar, thanks for spending some time with us. I know it wasn't easy, but you are were you surprised at the margin, maybe more so than the right, time? Right. 
Uh, no, nah, honestly, I was just trying to go under 22 seconds. You know, I wasn't trying to race anybody. But uh, I, I kind of missed the breakout uh, in the start. And uh, I think that that cost me the, the 20, the 21 second barrier. So uh, I'm happy for, for the result right, right now, but there are, there are a lot of runes to improve. Caesar, this is Rowdy. I noticed you kind of slap your chest. Is there a routine with that? Isn't it hurt? <laughs> Uh, it does hurt, but it's <laughs> kind of wakes you it's up. It's the, huh? the 53, so well, you know, have to do whatever you have to do to get ready, and uh, and uh, it's just 22 seconds. Just do your best, and whatever it takes, just just try to do the best. Hey, one more quick question, Caesar. I, I know you had a little bit of an off summer, I guess. You, some would say an off summer, but it looks like you're really back on track now. What's the difference between last year and now? Well, I'm back with uh, with my old coach in Brazil, and. Uh, Things are different, you know. I'm back home, uh, close to, closer to my family. So uh, I think, I think my life right now is just happier and uh, a little bit easier. So uh, you know, I'm a different guy from from the previous previous years, and I think right now I made the, the right move to get back on track. Well, congratulations! Really nice race. Thank there, you very buddy. much. There are the final results: 50 meter freestyle, Cielo 2208. Look at the. Differentiation, almost half a second, Fraudus of Brazil, and a tie for third place. More swimming from Ann Arbor. When we come back, this is Grand Prix Swimming coming your way once again on Universal Sports.